Hello my friends, this is Heather and I'm back with another R-rated review. It's been a very busy day of reviews today. I made an obnoxious comment a couple weeks ago on my other channel when I was talking about coffee grinders and not running out of stuff. So, my brawn, my brawn coffee grinder, it died um, out of nowhere. It just, I mean, I, I don't know how many moving parts are in it. Uh, it grinds coffee. Uh, it died. But I was like, oh, 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 I don't run out of stuff. Look, I have another one. Oh, look, I have another one. And this is the Mr. Coffee, which I'm a little surprised because I like Mr. Coffee and his stuff is usually pretty cheap and it lasts a long time. But there must have been something wrong with this one because when you have to lock it in place and press the button, you had to kind of wiggle it a little. I found this trick and I was able to get the coffee to grind once. It died. I, I have so many bags of coffee that are whole bean and I couldn't grind them. And so I had to get, I had to get a third coffee grinder, coffee bean grinder. So it took me a couple of weeks to figure out what I was gonna do because I was looking, I looked on you know a site that I get some like secondhand stuff on, you can get a good one cheap, but with the shipping it wasn't worth it. Uh, I made the mistake of going to, um, you know, the stick em up Rob Me Bed Bath & Beyond website. I, I don't know, I just go to Bed Bath & Beyond on the rare occasion that I want to spend extra money for something that I could get somewhere cheaper that is not available at the time. But I scored a great deal. <clears throat> so I'm not going to knock Bed Bath & Beyond too much today because they actually, they impressed me a little bit, like twice. So they have this, this program now, it's like rewards and you got to pay for it, pay to be part of a rewards program. So I, I have to give you my money so that when I buy stuff and give you more money, I get a reward for spending my money, but only if I pay for that. I never understood this concept when the stores do that. I won't do it. I won't participate. Except on this particular day, Bed Bath & Beyond was offering this really great promotion. It's $29 a year, and then all of your stuff comes free shipping with no minimum. And of course, $29 bucks plus you earn rewards for each dollar you spend. I'm not going to spend $29, bucks, except they were giving away a $29 gift card when you signed up. So you get it back. And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. So I signed up. I get my $29 gift card, which was not easy. Their website stinks. The email, I got like 10 emails before I could find the one that had the $29 gift card in it. And I went to, I got my daughter Bethany the, the Bob Ross paint game for Christmas because she loves Bob Ross. And actually, I, I love Bob Ross, so I bought two paint games. And they were on sale, and I got free shipping. So I wound up getting them for free. And then I still had like four bucks left on my gift card. And then my coffee grinder dies. $200? And $300? For a coffee bean grinder? The fuck is up with that? Granted, they have the $30 and $40 ones, which I still think is just ridiculous. You put coffee beans in it. It doesn't make the coffee. It doesn't drink the coffee for you. It doesn't give you an injection of caffeine in your arms. So, I mean, they range. I've never seen a range, a range of prices on like 59 products that all do the same thing. They take a coffee bean and they grind it into coffee grounds. So they ranged from like 20 or 25 dollars to 300. Me, I'm I'm speechless and that's 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 rare. I'm going to I'm going to just take a second. 300 dollars? And they had 150, they had 200. It wasn't like there was one company that came up with this 24 karat fucking gold coffee bean grinder. I mean, at that point, for $300, the fucking machine better climb out of the cabinet, plug itself in, grind the coffee, make a pot, and deliver it to me in fucking bed before I pay $300 for a fucking coffee bean grinder. Okay. I went online yesterday. The reason I tell you, it's December 23rd. And the reason I tell you that I went online yesterday is because it's December 22nd 
and you know the post office is backed up and all the shipping companies are behind schedule god forbid don't order fedex i'm not even going to talk about fedex i ordered a coffee bean grinder yesterday which was supposed to be delivered on december 28th it was this great sale it was 15.99 now that's my wheelhouse and i'm not paying for shipping and I don't want to hear that $39 minimum. No, because I paid my $29 for the free shipping and I got my $29 gift card and I still have $4 left on it. So I'm going to order this Crups. I got Crups. It was on sale. Coupon excluded. Yes, I did try to use my extra 20% off Bed Bath & Beyond coupon on the $15.99 Crups coffee grinder and it was not going to fly. I mean, they stipulated right there. Coupon. I'm like, all right, whatever. It's a deal. I still have my $4 gift card. So I'm gonna get my $15.99 Krups coffee bean grinder and it's coming on December 28th. I ordered it on December 22nd. Today is December 23rd. I ordered this yesterday. They processed it yesterday. UPS brought this to me this morning. That's impressive. That is really fucking impressive. So kudos Bed Bath & Beyond and to UPS for processing an order I placed yesterday afternoon telling me it would be here in six days and having it at my doorstep the following morning. So now I am grinding coffee because I haven't been able to for a few weeks. Oh, but you know what Bed Bath & Beyond, shame on you because I read all the fine print. I mean, I even called the company. I'm like, what does this mean before I sign up? Before I give you my whopping $29 and I get my $29 back, I need all the details. I need an email and explanation. I read the fine prints. I get out the, the dollar store reading glasses and I, I look everything over with a fine tooth comb. I go back to the email that I saved with my $29 gift card because I thought it was a gift card. Apparently, it's not the same as a gift card. There's like super fine print that I still have not located. And the only reason I know this is because I knew I had $4 left on it. And when I copied the code with the pin number and put it into my order yesterday, it popped up and said, one time use and any balance left is forfeited. So fuck you, Bed Bath & Beyond, because I lost my four bucks. But I, I still got two paint, Bob Ross paint kits, games that we can play for Christmas. So I'm still happy, but I want my four dollars. I'm gonna start grinding some coffee. And we'll see how this Krups coffee bean grinder works. It's really easy because all you do is put the coffee in. Like this, this Mr. Coffee one surprised me because you had to like turn it and lock it. And it had like a flip top and then it had choices for how you grind it and stuff. I've decided that I prefer no buttons other than the power button. Um, I'll decide how much I want to grind it by how long I press the button. Oh my God, tell me it broke already. I unplugged it. I unplugged it. Woo! I gotta slow down. Oh, that was gonna be ugly if it broke already. I listen. I'm not stunned. It's a little shake. That sounds good. Now, I don't know if this is the way to do it or not. But I like to turn it upside down, tap it, and then use this as my little cup to pour it into the jar. I mean, you can pour it right from the coffee grinder. I think. There's still some in there. See, it works with either. And then, and then I'll show you. This is some nice coffee. Nice and soft, nice and powdery. It's fine. I did. I like fine. Sounds good. You can even hear like when it goes from crunchy to smooth. That's pretty smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I really like the Krups 
$15.99 coffee bean grinder. And if there's anyone out there that has a comment that can tell me that owns the $300 or the $150, $200, whatever coffee bean grinder, if you can somehow tell me if it magically works better than that or if it makes your coffee taste different, like can you buy really shit cheap coffee, put it in a $300 grinder and it magically makes it like magic beans, better coffee, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna stick with this Crops and thank goodness it was $15.99 because it wasn't gonna be $25. And I'm very happy that it came in one day. So thank you for that, Bed Bath & Beyond. And thank you, Crops, for helping me. I have like 10 bags of coffee in my cabinet that I have not been able to grind. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe. And I'll be back again soon with another R-rated review.